Good morning, friends. Our last reflection on walking the Spirit this week is basically given to this idea of surrendering to the Holy Spirit throughout our day, that we want to be still, we want to be quiet, we want to calm our hearts so that we can walk in sync with the Spirit, keep in step with the Spirit. But if we want these fruits of the Spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, gentleness, uh, faithfulness and self-control, if we want those things kind of popping out of our lives and growing over time, we're going to have to learn how to just walk in this surrendered place. And so you have anxiety that comes up. You surrender it to the Lord, the Spirit of God. When uh, a situation comes up, you need guidance. You surrender it to Him. You surrender yourself to Him and you ask him to lead you. And it is this surrendered life that is the rich life. And I think a lot of times what ends up happening is we're grabbing so hard hold of our lives that what, what, what ends up happening is surrender is kind of left by the wayside, but surrender is the gateway into the peace, into the fruit of the Spirit. Surrender is the gateway into the fruit of the Spirit. And so I want to ask you right now, think about are you, is your life particularly submitted to the Lord or are you holding on really tight and then you just continue to have to give the Lord, you know, back these things over time? I want to ask you to start cultivating a surrendered life to him. What do you need to surrender to the Lord today? The surrendered life is the fruit-filled life. And so if that's the case, what do you need to surrender to the Lord right now? I want to ask that you would take a little bit of time and pray that and pray that out loud and surrender all of those things to him and then keep doing it as those things come up during the day. That's our word for today. We'll see you this weekend. Have a great weekend. God bless you.